Hello and welcome to Console Training. My name is Alex Hughes and today we have part five of the definitive MIDI guide, MIDI encoders with show cockpit. Before we begin with today's video, we need to cover a little bit of extra information as the video today has been sponsored by RD slash show cockpit. So they've supplied us with a version of the software for evaluation and testing. Uh, just so that we can create this video and uh, in turn we're creating this uh, video to assist their community as well on setup with MA. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's begin and we'll uh, run through our little setup we've got here. So we can say in the top left hand corner we've got RD Show Cockpit with the Pro version, but of course you can download a trial and test all this out. We've got a MA on PC system to the right. We've got our little MIDI controller here, which is what we've used in previous videos. And we've also got a uh, four fixture little MA lighting show down in the bottom right hand corner, or left hand corner as it would be. First thing we need to do in elements, we need to add our two elements. So we're gonna go external control MIDI, because the device that we're running isn't uh, one of those two, we're gonna go generic. We're gonna add an MPD 218 which is the device that I've got here. And we're gonna set our input device to be that device. We're gonna turn off motorized faders. We're gonna turn it on so we're talking to it. And then we're gonna open our window and just learn all our encoders by clicking on encoders, enable learn. And then we're just gonna to quickly touch and turn all our encoders. Now, because of the way that I've configured this device in the MPD software, what it does is for decreasing values, it actually sends 127, and for increasing values, it sends one. So we're just gonna quickly whip through these, set them all to be custom. And while I could have done this out of the other software, this also gives us a fantastic opportunity to show how to customize the, uh, the input that you're getting from devices. So I'm just going to quickly finish up these last encoders and then we'll move on to the MA part. So the benefit of this software compared to what we showcased in our last video is simple. There's no MIDI going into the console. It's all done via the web remote protocol uh, from an MA end, which means that you can pretty much use any device you want. We'll also do a couple of buttons. Let's do the top row of buttons by just Using the uh, learn function again, why don't we do all of them? May as well. There we go. And while we were here, we could also set uh, some custom feedback. And I know that for off, the value is zero, and for on, the feedback is one. Because all it'll do is just turn things on. So we'll do the first four. You get the, the, uh, the point. And we'll just tick custom feedback and then close this little window for now. Now we can add our MA. So we're gonna go lighting, MA lighting, Grand MA2. Leave it sit to Grand MA2. And before we connect our Grand MA2, we need to make sure that we've got a user set up. Now you can use the administrator admin uh, user account, but I normally prefer to just create a remote one just because it's easier. So the username and password is remote and remote. And we're also gonna jump into global settings and just make sure that remotes are enabled. Otherwise, we'll get a little error back from uh, ID show cockpit. Anyway, we'll key in these details. Remote, remote. We want it to sync pages. We're happy with the rest. So we're going to enable it. It's going to connect and say that it's enabled. Fantastic. Now all we have to do is the mapping. So we come across to mapping. We want to map some encoder wheels. So we click encoder wheel. We set the amount of scroll. We're gonna set it to one, just cause I like a little less sensitivity. And then we're just gonna quickly click through and assign them to the encoders that have come out of the MPD. And that's as simple as that is. Now, the device we're using has more encoders, as you can see, it's got six than the uh, than MA does. It's only got four. So you can either leave those encoders or you can use what's called an attribute scroll. Here, we can manually key in parameters that we want always to have access to. So I'm gonna key in pan, I'm gonna set my scroll amount to one, and then I'm also gonna do tilt.
Now with that done, we can also assign some of these buttons. We mapped a couple, so why don't we use them? So to do that, we're going to go executor button, and we're just going to go executor one, and we're just going to assign the first four to be button one of those executors. Then we're going to go back to project. We're going to make sure that we click save, and I'm just going to save this file where it's located, and then let's test things out. So if I go fixture one through four, give him some uh, intensity, we can see that encoder one is pan, encoder two is tilt. And if we slow this down, we can actually even do it using the normal fine and ultra keys, which is handy. You could also use the buttons for that if you wanted to. And then encoder two is pan and tilt. We'll try our third one, which is gobo. So we'll, we'll quickly flick through some gobos. And then let's check these two. So these were the ones that we set up as just attributes. So this one is purely meant to be set to tilt, which works. And this one is purely set to pan all the time. So no matter what page we're on in terms of our encoders, we can do it from there. We can also do things like we can use our align options and drag blue down so we get nice little gradients like so across the colors. Let's bring the green back. So we can do nice little gradients and stuff and still have our uh, a pan and tilt work, like so. And then if we like what we've done, we can store it to exec1. Let's go overwrite, I'm not sure what I've left there. And if we set that button to a flash, we should have a flash set up. So let's try our button. Yep, there we go. We can see that we've got a flash button set up. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Alex Hughes. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos that are upcoming. Thanks.